What's up guys, it's Carson, back here from Toxic Gaming, and today guys, as I try to set it up as I'm talking, I'm actually doing the same team as last time, I just, I, I have this video already up, and this is one where it came really close, as you can see there's three fucking flying types there, with Talonflame, Braveyard, and Star Raptor, so I'm already pretty scared, but I still have the same lineup, I don't believe I changed anything on anybody, and I'm still trying to get soundproof Paris trap working. I don't know why, I just want to get it. But he also has, on the other on the other half of this team, a good old Politoed, which I found, had a fucking realization later in the game that I should have had early. And a uh, good old Ludicolo, a nice little dancing fuck. <laughs> and then the Mega Kangaskhan again. So as we get into it, he brings out John Cena, the Kangaskhan, which I fucking love that name for Kangaskhan. I don't know why, I just love it. And then Talonframe, named Brave Bird. Not very secretive of what he's gonna do, so why the hell not? So I bring out Gengar and Thunderous again, the same leads as last time, just trying to figure out what I can do. And right off the bat, I go again, Gengar, and then I go Protect, just to get myself guaranteed to be able to live anything next turn when I really want to try to do it. And he also goes for the fake out without Mega Evolving on John Cena, which tells me as Scrappy, which is fucking great. That was a. It looked like I had a great move on my part, and him going for the Brave Bird on me. Now I got the John Cena paralyzed. Hell of a, like, that's what I want to get on Mega Kangaskhan, anything is paralyzed, or burns, something. And I take that Brave Bird, fucking barely, <laughs> like, just barely took it. And I just go disable for the Brave Bird, because I knew he was just going to keep spamming that. So I was like, why not, and I'll go Volt Switch, and I didn't think that was going to kill, that's why I kind of double targeted, uh, good old Talon Flame there. I probably should have disabled John Cena, but... I really didn't know what he was going to do with Talonflame, I didn't think I was going to kill it. I'm so used to running bulky Talonflame I'm so, uh, that I'm used to wanting to see it. But he actually went for Ice Punch on uh, where Thunderous was, and so he hits the Bastard on which I kind of forgot about having the Focus Sash, and I thought I was going to live this next attack here that you're going to see. But I go for Parish Song after he brings out Politoed to set up the rain. He goes for that Hydro Pump, and Bastard on his special defense can't take a bubble, let alone a Hydro Pump in the rain from a Politoed. <laughs> so that was kind of shit on my luck right there, but John Cena actually gets paralyzed so that that little thunder wave kind of really came in handy And right now I'm looking at my team like I really fucked up and Sw Swampert was here and I was I say and a lot <laughs> But I have curse on the Swampert but when I was trying to use it I didn't understand that like you still had to target somebody technically in the showdown and I just didn't use it for some reason, but I see that Fucking Hydro Pump takes out a neutral Swampert, defensive, yeah, but he's a fucking Swampert. And you take it out, immediately I should have realized it was, uh, Specs. Like, I hadn't- I would, wouldn't have thought that from Bastiodon, but how weak his special defense is in, the, in any way. But from that, I knew it was Specs, and I had to dis I had to try to disable it, just to be able to fuck over his Politoed. Like, there was nothing else I could do but disable that Politoed. If I didn't, I lost the game right then and there. But I just go for Protect on Thunderous, so I can disable and Thunderous can actually live in this next Ice Punch. But he gets paralyzed, so I mean, I don't have to worry about that Ice Punch. Ice Punch. I gotta get my words in together. Probably could have, you know, kept him alive a little more. And the really bad part is right here, I don't have anybody to switch out to to save Gengar, so I just go for Shadow Ball on Rain, you know, just trying to get as much damage off as I can. Going for the Volt Switch. If he has no moves, he's gonna use a good old struggle against me. Kinda wish he would've hit, tried to hit Gengar and miss, that'd've been great. <laughs> but he actually dies to Recoil now. As really Gengar and John Cena are going to go down anyway, as another Paralyze comes through. So Thunderous is here as my only hope right now. Thunderous is it, and it's down 1v1. Thunderous against his last Mon, which turns out to be the Dancing Diddly Duck Boy. <laughs> I was going to say Fuck Boy, but Duck Boy sounded better. So I go for a Protect just to kind of see if he wants, has an Ice Beam or Ice Punch or something. Turns out he has the Ice Beam, and he also I was also trying to stall out as many rain turns as I can so I could be actually be faster. And really, I just went for Thunder Waves to try to paralyze him again, get that same paralyzed hacks. And he comes through with the Ice Beam. And right now I get frozen. Yeah, I eat my Citrus Berry so I can live two more Ice Beams, but you're fucking frozen. And there isn't enough hacks, like if that wasn't payback for like the three turns of like, fucking paralyzed from that Genghis Kong, I don't know what it is. But honestly, guys, he's just honestly gonna finish me out with Ice Beam because apparently Thunderous is not warm bodied at all and can't fucking live. He even gets paralyzed one more goddamn time to give me a chance. But nope, Thunderous is cold blooded and just likes being frozen and shit. So he goes down and I lose this match again. Another, again, another loss. I don't really, again, I don't really care about the losses. I more care about trying to learn this. And I almost pulled it off. Almost being a damn key turn. If I would have remembered, <laughs> he hit me with that damn Ice Punch. But anyway, guys. 
I'm still trying to learn, trying to figure out this thing. I believe I might have one more I'm going to toss up here. Again, let me know down below if you guys have any other weird, interesting sets or interesting combos that you may have just like randomly thought of that I don't maybe know, know about or you ever seen anybody run. I want to know your shit, see what you see, and try to put it, implement it so I can try to figure it out. That's how I want to kind of run with VGC right now. If you guys, though, do want me to start a laddering, let me know too. And, I, you know, I can build a team to start a laddering. That's not that hard. But anyway, guys, thank you for coming out. You guys are all awesome, as always. And, as always, just to keep it going, stay toxic. <laughs> Thought I was going to say something different there, didn't you? <laughs> anyway, see you guys.